No Fate Channel checking in. Today we've got another episode of Dates with Dad and we are heading to Comic-Con. All right, guys, another episode of Dates with Dad. We're going to Comic-Con. Full disclosure, not the one in California. We're going to the one in Connecticut, hosted at Foxwoods Hotel, Resort, and Casino. It took about eight weeks' worth of planning to get coverage for our tiny titan of terror, get the tickets, get our costumes ready, but we're excited. However, before we can get there, we've got a lot of things to do in the morning to get ready. First and foremost, let's get some gas. All right, guys, gas is done. I'm at the gym before they open. The wife and I both have to get a quick workout in before we head down to Connecticut, so time is tight. We're gonna get a quick pull workout in. I'm gonna show you just a bit of footage from that, and then we're off to Connecticut. Twelve thirty. We just dumped the tiny Titan of Terror with his Nana and Papa. He is going to have a lot better time with them than with us. That's for sure. First stop before we head to Comic Con at Foxwoods is Dunkin' Donuts. Got to fuel up and get some uh, some much needed coffee. All right, we made it to Foxwoods. Finally, in the hotel room, I got my costume on. The wife is fixing up her hair. We're going to head down. We're not in a huge rush because the line. It was pretty long to check in, so I figured the longer we wait, the better off we'll actually be. All right, guys, can you guys guess what couple we are? Leave a comment down below and wish us luck. We're off to Comic Con. <laughs> Alright guys, we just finished Comic Con here at Foxwoods Resort and Casino and we had a ball. People dressed up in all sorts of different costumes, shapes, sizes. I can't imagine the time and energy, let alone the money that some of these folks put into their costumes. A fun event. After uh, Comic Con we went to the Hard Rock Cafe for some much needed food and then we uh, did some walking at the outlets downstairs. It's about 8 p.m. and we're going to kick back, relax, and then maybe go get some Ben and Jerry's. We're not here at Foxwoods often, but every time we do come, we make sure to stop in at Ben and Jerry's because that is some good ice cream. All right, it's 8 a.m. Sunday morning and Comic-Con was a success. We're up and out early to ready to pick up the tiny Titan of Terror. But overall, it was a great date with the wife. Comic-Con was excellent. Was it busy? Yes. They did an interesting thing. They actually kept the line for entry longer. We waited about 20 minutes to get in. But once you got in, it wasn't wall-to-wall -wall people. The one that I went to in Boston was much more crowded um, once you got inside. So I think that was partly a, a fire code issue but the 20 minute wait wasn't bad um, I would recommend that if you want to avoid the lines go on Sunday in general Sundays on those cons are a lot less busy especially if you have younger kids if you go on Sunday they'll get the same experience with uh, less lines and you know less hassle 
Um, and I don't think they'll really miss anything that they would have uh, seen on a Saturday. We ended up going to Hard Rock Cafe for dinner, and I got the English breakfast burger. That thing was a monster. It was the burger. It was ham, sausage, egg, and uh, and mushrooms on top of it. It was nuts. I'm still full. Although we did manage to get an ice cream at Ben and Jerry's. It's a staple. When we go to Foxwoods, we always go and get the largest Ben and Jerry's they have. All right. So we're going to pick up the little guy, head home, and try to get a bunch of stuff done before the work week. Overall, my favorite part about the Comic-Con experience are the people that dress up. I would highly recommend that if you go to one of these Comic-Cons, make an effort to put on a costume of any sort. Um, we had a ball. The people that dressed up in costumes are so pleasant, always willing to take photos with us. Um, that really made the day were the people that dressed up. I think if no one dressed up at those Comic-Cons, it would be a pretty boring event. All right, guys, that's this episode of Dates with Dad. I want to know what dates you guys have with your significant others coming up. Leave a comment below. And if you don't have any dates planned, you guys should be looking. I guarantee that there are a number of awesome events and activities coming up. I highly recommend to look forward six weeks, eight weeks for stuff that's coming up. That way you guys can get it on the books before someone else uh, fills up your time for you. Make the most of the time you have. And as usual, don't save anything for the trip back. The No Fake Channel is a community for dads where we keep you informed on all the tips, tricks, and tools you need to energize your daily lives. If you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, then join the community by punching that subscribe button. We post new videos every Sunday night, and we'll love to get your input on obstacles that you're looking to overcome.